G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be roasting that um, the sulfides that, that Lindsay gave me. Uh, the sulfides came from Norseman. Um, it's a, uh, a gold mine or gold field in Western Australia. Norseman. Yeah, so I've got the um, you can probably hear it in the background the the uh, furnace is gone and I'm roasting the sulfides right now as I speak and um, I'm going to dedicate this video to Morgan. Morgan lives in Reno in Nevada, um, United States and I'm dedicating this video to Morgan because Morgan's been very generous and he's been donating cash to my channel um, so I can, yeah, buy petrol and bits and pieces um, for my videos. Thank you very much, Morgan. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah, so I've dedicated this video to Morgan and Morgan also follows the Australian Football League. I follow the West Coast Eagles. This is their colours. Morgan follows Collingwood. Yeah, um, but maybe I can uh, maybe I can turn him over. So he, hey Morgan, you might have to follow the West Coast Eagles, mate. That's the team to follow. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'll I'll get you over there and I'll just show you what I'm doing. Uh, roasting the sulphides. Then I'm going to smelt the sulphides and recover the gold from the sulphides. Yeah. So. That's today's plan. Okay, I'll be back. Stay tuned to the end too, guys, because um, I've got some mail. I've got some mail from Ned the Gruber. Okay, guys. This is just half of the sulfides. I'm just going to do half of them today, so it's a quick, um, a quick video. So there, that's half the sulfides. I'm, I am roasting them to, to roast out the sulfides. Once the sulfides have all roasted out of the material, then I'll be putting it the the material I'll be putting putting it in the crucible and mixing it with flux and then smelt it. Okay guys, the um, sulfides have finished roasting, so I've I've burnt off all the sulfur. On the sulfides. Next, I mix it up with some borax and sodium bicarbonate. So same same deal. A spoon spoonful of sulfides, one of borax, one of sulfides, one of borax. So two of borax and one of sodium bicarbonate. That's, like we said before, guys, this is just how I do it. I like to keep things simple. And um, this isn't all the uh, sulfides, this is just half of it, but this is enough. This is enough to um, to do our little experiment and recover recover the gold. Okay, just pull that in there. All right. Give it an extra one of borax. Like I said, you can't. Can't put in too much borax. And also, like I said before, don't overfill your crucible. Just three quarters. I'll just show you this. Crucible, just three quarters. 
That's all you need, otherwise it will tend to bubble over. It'll bubble up if you um, and boil over if you put too much material into the uh, crucible. Yeah, so don't fill it right up. And that's all I do, guys. As you saw in my last video when I smelted the black sand, I just mix it all up in the crucible just like that. You can mix it up in in a, in another container if you like, and then put it in the crucible. Um, this is just the way I do it. It's easy enough. It mixes up good. It all um, comes together once it's heated and melted down. Yeah, and that's it, guys. Okay, I'll go and get the furnace going and we'll start melting. Okay, guys, we're smelting. I'll get back to you when I'm ready to pour. Okay guys, there it is. Just gotta wait for it to cool down. Okay guys, it's cooled the um mold has cooled down. Now we'll just knock it out. And then once I've knocked out the slag then I've got to crush it. I've got to crush the put it in my um Dolly pot and crush it down on the top there. There was a lot of metal in there. If there was a lot of metal in there, you'd get a, a bead of metal on the bottom of the mould, but there's no bead because any gold that's in here will be in little balls, little ball bearings. So I've got to crush it down. I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, this is a dolly pot that I use to crush it down. There's the fines. I've still got these oversized to crush yet. So I'll finish crushing this down to a powder and then we'll, um, we'll pan it out. See how much gold we get. Hey guys, just in case you haven't seen this before, um, the old soup mix blender, mate. I got this off of Gary, I think it was Gary Two Toes on one of his videos. Check this out. And just sieve it, put it back, the oversized back in the blender, and give it a blend. A 
Okay, I'll get back to you when I've finished. Okay, guys, here we are. The fines. Now let's pan this out and see how we go. See if I can get some balls, little balls of of gold. It's worked before, so I mean this is a different material, of course, but it's sulfides and it's heavy. And I'm betting there's gold in it. The ores come from a gold mine. Still got some more, uh, some more there to process another time. Not seeing anything yet. Some of this gold ore, when it's roasted like this, it actually um, tarnishes. It gets a black tarnish um, about it. And I've got to put it in some hydrochloric acid and just give it a bath in that just to clean it up. So it might be the same with this material. Okay, we'll pan it back and see, see how we go. See if we can get some gold, guys. See if I can show you some. There's some little silver balls here coming back, but I don't know if that's the gold. Could be. Oh, I can see the gold at the back of the pan. As like I said, there's a bit moving back. This, um, some of this material, the gold, it'll it'll get stained. I can see the gold starting to float back now as I'm panning. There's some fine gold in there as well. Yeah, it's it's still fine. It hasn't really it hasn't really um, bound up into balls for me. There is gold there. I can see it. I'll have to do a uh, a microscope job, guys. But all through here, there's all gold. And see it quite easily. Okay, I'll get back to you at the wrap up and um, show you my my mail that I got from Ned. Well, guys, how was that? Um, I didn't get much gold in that bit, but I have got more. I've got some more there to play with. There is gold in it. I can see it. The fine gold. I'll run it under the microscope and you'll see it as plain as day. Yeah. And um, hey, I got some mail. From, from Ned, Ned the Gruber. Yeah, so I'll just show you what he sent me. And thank you, Lindsay, for sending me that all. Appreciate it, mate. Um, I've sent you some rocks, mate. I've sent you some, some good stuff. Yeah, thank you. And Ned, I've sent you a meteorite, mate. Uh, a big one too, a big chunker meteorite. As a thank you for sending me the rocks. And guys, check the rocks out. Check them out. Okay guys. Okay guys, I've got the rocks that Ned sent me. He sent me a big box full of rocks. He's put a letter in the box for me. Good day Kev. Here is a box of rocks. I hope you like. Plus a few stickers for your collection. Cheers, thanks Ned. These rocks are some from my collection. I personally would not crush or cut them, but uh, it is up to you, mate. I, I sort of thought you might like to keep them as they are, whatever you decide. Take care, buddy, and happy prospecting. Cheers, Ned. Thank you very much, Ned. Appreciate it. Ned, I've sent you something very special, Ned. I've sent you a meteorite, mate. A meteorite that Colin, um, the me meteorite guru, sent me. So I'm giving them out to you guys. And uh, yeah, and, and as my appreciation, 
Um, for all these rocks that you've sent me, Ned, I've sent you out a meteorite, mate. Yeah. And um, it's a big chunk of too, mate. Yeah. Okay. I'll just I'll move the camera around. I'll just show you the rocks that Ned sent sent to me. Now, I don't know if you guys know your know your minerals too well. I'll just show you something. Now, have you ever seen a rock like this before? See those orangey red coloured crystals? It's called crocite. Crocoit, sorry. Get that right. Crocoit. And it's a, a very valuable min mineral. It's um, very rare. And it's only found in three places in the world. One place is Tasmania, Australia. It's found in uh, another area in, in America. And I think the other place is Africa, I think, for memory. Yeah, there's only like three three spots on the planet that you can find this crocoit. Thank you very much, Ned, for sending me these rocks, man. So, I'll just, I'll just show you a couple. This one here, see how it's a real shiny, um, shiny mineral? This is um, galena. Yeah, it's galena. It's lead in its natural form. So all those, those crystals, that's lead. Yeah, the mineral is galena. And Ned sent me all these pieces of crocoit and galena. There's galena, that's your galena. Crocoit, the orange crystals. This one here is another piece of galena. And there's your crocoit. More crocoit. This crocoit's got bigger. You can see the bigger crystals in there. It's got bigger crystals. Yeah. Cool. It's very cool rock. If you're into this type of thing. No good for jewellery. You couldn't um, slice this and polish it up for jewellery because the actual uh, beauty of, of this mineral is the crystals. Very fine crystals. This red rock, I don't know what this is, maybe a um, piece of red jasper, I think, I'm thinking. Either a jasper or hematite. And then Ned's giving me a piece of azurite, which is your copper mineral, azurite, or copper oxide, azurite, and a piece of green malachite. With, a, with, with some speckles of azurite in there. Another piece of malachite. If you get this malachite in the quartz and if you get a, a big piece, you can cut that and make pendants from it. Yeah. Anyway, I'll take some photos, guys, and I'll put the pictures up. I don't know if this um, video is doing these stones justice. I'll get back to you soon. Well, how cool is that? Thank you very much, Ned. I appreciate it, mate. Um, mate, there's some super, super rocks there. That um, crocoit, very, very rare. Very hard to get your hands on that, and unless you want to pay a few dollars. Yeah. Thanks, mate. I'll just. I've got a piece here, I'll just show you this again. The light's a bit poor because the sun's gone behind a cloud, it's all overcast now. I think we've got some rain coming. Now this is a piece of a piece of that crocoit that that Ned sent me with the other stuff. And I picked this piece out and I'm gonna give it to a very special lady.
And yeah, um, my wife's a very special lady too in my, in my life. I've given this rock to my mum. Um, she's one of my best fans, she's, or the best fan. She's got a lot of my rocks I, I cut and polish and I, I give them to her. My, my mum lives in a nursing home, so I, I visit her once a week and I'll, and I'll bring in a little a rock, a different coloured rock each time usually. Um, or a different type of rock anyway. She's got, she must have about 50, oh, 40 or 50 different pieces of rock now in, in, in her room, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just a little thing that I'll do for my mum. Um, Ned's kindly sent me some stickers, some more stickers. Oh. There you go, Ned. I'll give your channel a plug, mate. I hope you can see that, guys. I'll take some photos of them anyway. There's another one. Gruber Ned Jardine, Gold Hunter. Oh, and he's given me, he's given me one of um, Kirk's. This is Kirk's channel, Secret Creek Prospecting, Kirk. If you don't know Kirk, check him out. He's a he's a top top guy. He's a, he's over in America and he does a lot of prospecting in the creeks. Yeah. Oh, he's got one. Oh, there's Crouchy. Crouchy, the surfing prospector. <laughs> yeah, all good guys, brilliant blokes. Okay, guys, I've got to wrap this up. I've got to go because it's it's going to rain on me again. Cheers. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, Ned, Lindsay, and uh, who have I forgotten? All of you guys, yeah, thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, I dribbled it again. Yeah, it, uh, it happens sometimes. Okay. Cheers, guys. Stay safe out there. Take care. Be good, and I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully I'm out bush. Bye for now.